While sheltering underground with the Bowery King in New York City, John Wick plots vengeance on the high table. He flies to Morocco and assassinates the elder, also known as the one who sits above the table. In response, high table member Marquis Vincent de Gramont calls New York Continental Hotel manager Winston and his concierge, Karen. The Marquis says that the high table has granted him unlimited resources to murder John Wick. He chastises Winston for failing to assassinate John. A. As punishment, the Marquis deprives Winston of his managerial duties, proclaims him excommunicado, ruins the Continental, and executes Karen. The Marquis then hires Kane, a blind, retired high table assassin, to assassinate his old buddy, John, threatening to murder Kane's daughter otherwise. John seeks refuge in the Osaka Continental, which is managed by his buddy Shimazu Koji, Chidi. The Marquis second in command, arrives to examine the hotel, accompanied by high table assassins and Kane. The hotel's concierge, Koji's daughter Akira, evacuates just as the high table deconsecrates it, sparking a melee as Koji and his men come to John's defense. John fights his way through waves of armored assassins, culminating in a clash with Kane. After judging that the bounty for killing John is insufficient, Mr. Nobody, a bounty hunter, interrupts their battle and assists John's escape. A wounded Koji hits Kane on John's behalf, and Kane regretfully kills Koji while sparing Akira. When John returns to New York, he encounters a vengeful Winston at Karen's grave. Winston tells John to challenge the Marquis to a duel using an old high table tradition. Winning would relieve John of his responsibilities to the high table, but he can only request a duel on behalf of a criminal organization. He flies to Berlin to solicit readmission from the Ruska Roma crime gang, with whom he had cut ties. A. Katia, John's adoptive sister, demands that he assassinate Killa Karkin, a high table member who murdered her father, in order to be readmitted. Killa is confronted by John at his nightclub. When a fight breaks out, Kane and Mr. Nobody assist John against Killa's thugs. John eventually kills Killa and regains his status. Winston relays John's official challenge to the Marquis, as John skinned. Winston demands that the New York Continental be rebuilt, with Winston reinstalled as manager if John wins. In a conference conducted by the Harbinger, the table's emissary, John and the Marquis agreed on the duel's parameters, dueling pistols on the following daybreak at Sacre till the copyright care. In Paris, the Marquis appoints a hesitant cane to take his place if either fails to show on time. John and Winston will be executed. The Bowery King arrives in Paris to present John with a weapon and a new ballistic suit. The Marquis intends to place a 26 million reward on John in order to prevent him from reaching the combat on time. On his trip to Sacre Tilde copyright care, John fights off hordes of assassins, including Mr. Nobody, who negotiates a bounty increase of 40 million dollars. During their fight, John stops Chitty from murdering Mr. Nobody's dog prompting a stunned Mr. Nobody to halt his pursuit of John. After Kane and Mr. Nobody helped John beat off many assassins in the Rue Foyer, including Chitty, whom Mr. Nobody kills, they get to the summit just in time for the duel. Two rounds of dueling ensued between John and Kane. The third round is called off when Kane gravely injures John. The Marquis enthusiastically swaps places with Kane demanding the right to administer the coup de gra till the census. Winston criticizes the Marquis for being arrogant and revealing that John has not yet fired his third round, at which point John shoots and kills the Marquis. The Harbinger frees Kane and John from the high table, and Winston is reinstated, before succumbing to his injuries after collapsing on the staircase. John muses on his life and marriage. Back in New York, Winston and the Bowery King said their goodbyes to John at his grave which was close to that of his late wife Helen. In a post-credits sequence, Kane goes to Paris to reconcile with his daughter but is confronted by the vengeful Akira, who uses a knife. As a movie recap channel, we thank you for being a part of our community. Stay tuned for more exciting content.